Good morning and welcome back. Hope you're having a good start to the week and hope you had a great weekend. We had some pretty nice weather Saturday and Sunday. It was a little hot, but uh, you know, we are in the first week of August, so that's to be expected. And we're going to keep that heat and humidity rolling through this week. We are tracking Hurricane Debbie and maybe even some cooler temperatures by the weekend. So of course, some of you start school this morning. If you're getting the kiddos ready, it's pretty mild outside, so not going to need a jacket day. 75 in Chattanooga, 70 in Cleveland and 70 70 degrees in Athens, 70 in Blue Ridge, north winds at about five miles per hour. High temperatures today going to range anywhere from the low to mid 90s, topping out around 95 here in Chattanooga, 93 in Cleveland, 93 in Athens. Plenty of sunshine out there and as you're stepping out, no wet roadways to contend with. No rain here in the Tennessee Valley, but we are tracking Hurricane Debbie. That's kind of the big story here in the world of weather this week. We have Category 1 strength Debbie now barreling towards portions of Florida. This will likely make landfall in the big bend of Florida here over the next couple of hours or later this morning, bringing some very heavy rainfall to places like Jackson, Tampa and Orlando. And this is going to continue to move slowly up the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas, potentially bringing some historic flooding to areas like Savannah and Charleston. Now again, Hurricane Debbie likely going to stay well to our south and east, but it is strengthening still even before reaching coast this morning. You can see those really high cloud tops indicated by those blacks. Now, as we go through the rest of the morning, this will probably strengthen a little bit more, maybe with get max winds at about 80 miles per hour to 85 miles per hour a little bit later on. You can see this is about to make landfall. Tropical storm warnings posted for South Georgia and coastal regions of South Carolina. Hurricane warnings in the red for the Big Bend of Florida. And this is moving to the northeast at about 20 miles per hour. But notice how slow it's going to begin to move as we move through the rest of the week. By Friday, this is still potentially hanging out as a remnant low across the Carolinas. Now, if it took this westerly track, we could potentially have some impacts, but this is likely going to stay far enough to our east, so we're not going to have to deal with too much of that in the Tennessee Valley and really over the next seven days. North Georgia going to have the best chance of rain, but again, the further south and east you travel, that's where you're going to really run into that torrential rainfall. In fact, historic flooding possible for portions of the Carolina coastline into Georgia. This white shade, that's anywhere from 15 to 20 inches of rain. And keep in mind, these coastal areas are already at sea level, so that rain has nowhere to go. It's just going to sit there. So we're likely to see some flooding problems from Wilmington down to Savannah. So we'll keep you updated on that. If you had a trip to the Carolinas or down to coastal Georgia, this week not going to be the best week to do that. Now, as we take a look at our future cast again, we're not really going to have impacts. There could be a stray shower later this afternoon, mainly in the North Georgia mountains or Western North Carolina dry overnight. And then as we go into your Tuesday, once again, we're going to be dealing with some sunshine, northerly flow. It's still going to be pretty humid out there, but it looks like we are going to stay mainly dry for a good chunk of the week here across the Tennessee Valley. Now, as we take a look at your forecast for today, We'll have 70, well, 95, 70 in the morning, mostly sunny, heat index up to 104, and then we'll fall into the 70s tonight. And taking a look at your storm alert seven day forecast, we'll have plenty of sunshine for the first part of the week, only a slim chance of a shower. Again, I'm thinking most of the impacts from Debbie going to stay well out to our west, but my sister actually went or she's going on a cruise and they had to leave a day early. She was uh, embarking from, I want to say Jacksonville, Florida. She said the weather was pretty rough. So hmm. again, this is starting to impact many, especially mm -hmm. those big, I mean, people like to go to the vacation in the South. If I can get the words out this morning, that, you know, it's early. It's I'm just going to walk off. Hey, the good news babbling. is, no, the good news is if my takeaway here is your sister got an extra day of a cruise, which I assume she didn't have to pay for. Nope. There you go. So good for her. Perfect. She timed <laughs> that one right.